we expect a rise in cases, it's a virus. It's going to infect people. But if nobody gets really sick and nobody gets hospitalized and nobody dies, it's okay. We, we live with infectious disease in the world. Infectious diseases infect people. That's how they propagate themselves and survive. We want to avoid them if there is a high risk of a severely adverse outcome. But you know, just being a case is not a bad thing. I think right now New Zealand is conflating any case with a calamitous case. Yes. I say prevent the calamitous cases, allow the cases, because then you have two ways of putting an end to this. One would be that highly effective vaccine we're all hoping comes sooner than it ever has before. Okay, that would be great. But we don't know yet. You know, they're just beginning phase three trials. Everything may fall apart. We may be back to the drawing board. The other way to get there is to get through this with herd immunity. And again, um, I, I think we're much closer. Many, many studies suggest there's a much higher seroprevalence than we've been able to document. We may be much closer to herd immunity than we realize. Um, I think essentially New Zealand could achieve the herd immunity of Sweden without the casualties by doing a risk stratified return. That's what I'm proposing.